All right, I just started uh, burning in my newly rebuilt computer. This is the Fractal Nano Torrent case, Torrent Nano uh, Mini ATX. And um, I'm running Formark and Cinebench at the same time, Cinebench 23. I just started it so but anyway the video card runs really good it's 66 celsius uh the cpu not so much let me see i'll show you the cpu i, I got i need a better cooler for the cpu this is a 5900x hundred a hundred percent usage and this is how much it's pulling from the wall I got an 850 watt power supply in there which is this one prime TX 850 uh, it's a platinum 850 watt power supply Let's get some light in here. I didn't, ri I didn't rip off the shrink wrap yet. There's the video card in there. I took the shroud off because I got all these fans in there blowing extra air. So I wanna make sure the, the shroud is not interfering with the um, the cooling of the video card. I spent about 10 hours building this slowly. Mainly it was um, doing the cable management. Oh, and I just forgot, I just realized I forgot to tie up that cable. I'm gonna have to tie it up. The one over there, the, the USB 3 cable. I was gonna um, change the the tie wrap to a different one the cable tie if you guys know what tie wraps cable ties the same crap anyway I gotta redo that that's okay not a big deal uh, the power supply is up there it's hard to see but it's, be, it's, it's in this part of the case right here so this is what it looks like from the front one thing I noticed about this case is there is no hard drive light. So I hooked up the power LED as a hard drive light. Because I know the computer's on when the RGB comes on. So those, that's like a power light to me. Um, here's the back. I got a... HDMI to DVI converter because I don't have an HDMI screen in this room but uh, let me see how much heat is coming out of here yeah, it's warm definitely warm the power supply is warm too good I mean it's supposed to be warm so anyway let's see one more time Video card is staying cool at 66 Celsius. This is a Strix 1070, by the way. I didn't say that before. Uh, GTX 1070 Strix. Asus Strix edition. It's already got some slight overclock in it. Uh, yeah, the light don't help exactly. Let me see like this. There you go. So anyway, let's see what the Cinebench is doing uh, here's the scores for Cinebench it's it's right up there with stock from what I see stock Ryzen 5900X 
and I'm doing the half an hour stress test. So that's gonna take half an hour. Anyway, um, I like the case. Although with my particular cooler, this is all air cooled. Uh, there's no water cooling at all in this, in this case, in this computer. Um, the heat sink, it has to be in that orientation because that's how, this is the NHU-12S uh, Noctua heat sink. I added the extra fan on top to help it pull air, air through. Um, and it's, uh, that's the best I could do. I kind of wish I had a little bit more exhaust fans. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put a small one in here somehow. Like a, probably a 40 millimeter will fit in there or something. I don't think a 60 will fit. But maybe a 40. Because this case needs more uh, air to be coming out. It's got a big intake fan over here. It's got two noctuas on the bottom here. So there's uh, positive pressure in this case right now. So anyway. Uh, let's see one more time. The CPU temperature is at 85 Celsius. Yeah, I know. It's, it, there's a hot chip. This thing's still staying at the same score. Let's see the far mark now. The video card went up to one one degree, but it's basically hanging around 67 Celsius. After how much time? Nine minutes. After nine minutes around. Anyway, you guys wanna comment? That's fine. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.